Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my empties to share with you for October 2023. So empties, if you haven't seen them before, it is when um, people collect their empty product and able to give you a proper review at the end of it. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. I think there's somebody walking past. I have got the door open today. The weather's getting a little bit warmer. So with these ones, I found that all the subscription boxes that I was opening, I wasn't able to give a proper review for you either, you know, after just first impressions or even by the next month or by the time the next box came because I had so much stuff. So my stash is quite large. So what I decided to do in January of this year was to start collecting the things that I'd used or the things that I was getting rid of to be able to give you a better review because I've used it in its entirety or I've got to the point where I can't use it anymore. So I thought it was a great way to be able to also go through my stash and use things that were coming to the end of their life or that were almost used up and I'm more conscious about going through things and also more conscious about what I think of things, as in, would I repurchase them? So this is what I've got. It's not a very big box, but there are quite a few little things in there. So I'll just randomly pull them out. Now, first one, this one, Mm, I didn't finish it. It's not quite finished. Still got some left in there, but um, I definitely couldn't use it anymore. I've had this one for a while. It is the Natural Instinct Tinted Face Natural Sunscreen. Um, it's UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum Tinted Protection with Antioxidants. So that was it there. Oh, my light's blowing out because I've got the door open, but it is a little bit overcast outside. Now, when I open it up, it'll show you that was the colour, which was really quite dark. And even when I put it on my skin, I know it's only meant to be a tinted sunscreen. It was still really dark. Um, so what I ended up doing with this one is I would mix a little bit of it in with my foundation. But it's got to the point where I've had it for a while and it's just the last bit is not good. So I've called a day, I've persevered with it as long as I could and I'm saying it's done. Yeah, definitely wouldn't buy this again. I'm not a fan of tinted sun creams um a lot of sunscreens when i try to put them under makeup just don't look good i think i must just have a funny face i'm not sure so yeah so i did persevere with that one i mean it was a what is it a hundred gram tube so there's only a little bit left that's all that's left so mm, i did okay but i'm calling that done so that's probably one of the first products i think this year that i haven't actually used everything of i think i'm pretty sure i've like got to the end of everything but that one I just couldn't. Uh, we have a Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. Now I do love sheet masks, I just don't get to do them very often. So I was really glad to sit down, I actually put this one on while I was editing some videos the other day. So that was what I used this for and maybe that might be my go-to now. If I'm editing videos and I am home by myself because usually if there's someone here I'm talking to them or getting drinks or sorting dogs out or, or seeing what the dogs are barking at outside. So, um, yeah, so I did use that one. I did like it. I tend to not repurchase these because I get lots in subscription boxes and I've still got quite a lot to go through. But the, I find the body shop stuff, though, is really good. So if I'm needing anything or I have a swap with someone, I do tend to do order swaps as well. I've got a bit of a side hustle. So if I've got someone that's got body shop and they want some flavorista, I'll order from them. They'll order from me and we kind of help each other out so then I might so but that's that one I did enjoy that one now here's another item kind of goes with the sunscreen but this one is a model rock base maker it's a blendable coverageable pro coverage blendable coverage pro beauty sponge now that's the packet because I was keeping it in the packet and I haven't washed this one because I, I am like tossing it I've had enough but I just wanted to show you the shape of it so that was the shape and it had a flat bottom so it had the little point so it was actually really good to get in to your eye um, and it was quite firm um, even once you wet it it didn't kind of go too soft but I did really like that one but I have had that one a while now and I've washed it many 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 times as you can tell by the packet being a bit like not good as well so it's time to swap that one out and I have got another one I'm using now that um, 
it's different to this one. It doesn't have that flat edge on it. So we'll see how I go once I'm ready to swap that out, how that goes. But if I had to buy another one, I that shape definitely I do like. I would like it a little bit softer, but, you know, I think that it's just, you know, it's a sponge. I don't use them a lot. So there you go. So that was that one. Then we have a bio oil. This is a skincare oil. I've still got that in the box, but I'll show you what the little bottle looks like. This was just a sample, like a 25 ml, just a little one. Now, I didn't use this one, but my son did. So I did want to give some feedback on that. I've been using bio oil on stretch marks and things since I was pregnant with him. He's uh, now 14. So uh, I have used this one. It's a great product. I do rebuy it when I need to, but I did have a few samples of this one. And I think Kale's still got one that he's going through now or that I'm helping him go through. He's actually got, we call him his tiger stripes, but he's actually got stretch marks on his back because he's 14. He is like almost six foot. He's just grown out of sight and those stretch marks and he's got a little bit of back knee and things like that. And I'm finding the bio oil is really good. So I can go down there. We can have a chit chat at the end of the day after he's had a shower, when he's ready for bed, we can just rub some into his skin. And I think it really is helping him. So we'll keep doing that. Um, and I'll give you an update when we get to the next one of how he's going. We don't use it every night, but we do have moments where we can see he's has been growing. So we do do like lots of nights of that one so that's what that one is and they did come in a subscription box then i've got a this is a a pearls it's just a conditioner now this would have this is a hotel one i think this just would have been one i grabbed while i was on one of my trips and this brand of goodies that you get in the hotel are actually quite good so if i see these i do tend to grab them and these have the little screw caps on them too so if you use a bit and you want to take the rest with you they do seal quite well too but i've obviously used that one when i've got home because i had it floating around but yeah i did find that good and i do like to swap out my shampoos and conditioners I've got a couple of big ones I'm using at the moment and I do sort of pop these ones in in between there. So that was fine. Then this one was um, a retinol. It was only a small one. It was only a 5ml and it was in a little, like a little mini pump, which I thought was really cute. Um, and I do like the retinol. So um, I was using that one. I didn't get a lot of uses out of it, but I can definitely tell the difference in my skin when I do. I've got quite a few serums and things at the moment to use, so I don't need to repurchase any. But when I do, these are the kind of things I'm probably going to be looking for because my face is 50 next year. I'm needing to look after it as best I can. So, yes, I did quite like that one. I think that one came in a, let's say it might have come in a Bella box, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, I did like that one. Then we have now this one. Oh, <laughs> I need to apologise because this packet has definitely seen better days this is a complex coq10 serum and it's a bit yellowy and a bit yucky and i do apologize for that but i kept the box for a reason i actually kept the bottle in the box so it's a rejuvenate and revitalize nourish and protect youthful complexion it's 10 mils from cannabella now um, it is unfiltered hemp seed oil jojoba oil, almond sweet oil, rose hip, sea buckthorn oil, rose, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin A, like it's got the kitchen sink in here, honestly. But I kept the packet because the little bottle, oh, it's got a hair on it. Let me get rid of that. <coughs> the little bottle didn't have anything on it. And I wanted to be able to keep all these ingredients to be able to let you know what it was. This one, um, it's said to put two or three drops sort of on the back of your hand and then sort of rub it on your hands and just pat it over your face. I certainly noticed the difference when I used this one. It was very, very interesting. I haven't used this kind of thing before, but the reason why the box is so manky, as well as it being a little bit of oil, um, we've got... I think they call them beach ants, the little tiny, tiny, tiny black ones. And we very rarely have them in the house, but 
they were in the bathroom and they found this oil. So there two or three times when I went to take the bottle out, there was actually little tiny ants in here. So I've actually flayed spray, flayed, sprayed fly spray in here to get rid of those little ants. There's not very many things. It's just a few times a year, maybe two or three times a year we have them inside and they'll either find, you know, some crumbs if a plate's been left on the bench or but this is the first time they've been in my bathroom and found something and they found this. So wasn't sure of the sweet almond oil, whether it was something like that. Uh, I don't know, but that's why I kept the box so I could read it all to you. But at the same time, the box got damaged because it did last me quite a while. But yeah, so that was the empty little bottle. Um, would I buy this again? Look, if I was needing something, I probably would look to this because I did find it very hydrating and I did really think I noticed the difference by the time I um, finished this one. Um, I did only use it at night. Now, did it say... It doesn't actually say. It just says, add three to five drops to the back of hand, apply to forehead, cheeks and under eyes spread evenly i does say morning and night but i was only using it at night um i do find that if i use oils in the morning um, my skin kind of it can sometimes stay a bit tacky and a bit greasy for the day but if i use it at night it seems to be that nightly hydration and when i wake up i've noticed the difference in my skin so Yep, so that was that one. I can't remember what it came in, but I've had it for quite a while. Um, and like I said, it took a long time to go through it. But that one, I did like that one. Then we have down to our little foil packets down the bottom. So this sea spa soap, this was another one. Now, I think, I think this is a hotel one, but I'm thinking I kept this one. Is this the one that was the scrubby one? There's one that's really nice, and I can't remember if this is a plain white soap or if this is the one that's like an exfoliating one that seems to have oatmeal or something in it. But looking at it, I'm thinking it might be a plain white one. So maybe I just grabbed it when I grabbed that shampoo, uh, the conditioner. I'm not sure about that one. Then we have some foil packets. So we have a couple of the black chicken axilla deodorant paste. We've got two of those. I used to get these in the, was it the Blissful boxes? We used to get one a month and I don't use them during summer. I don't use them if I'm going out anywhere. It gets really hot here and really, like really sticky and I just get really worried about using deodorant paste. So if it's cool or if I'm at home, I do go through them. So there'll be ages I don't sort of use any and then other times I, I go through a couple. So I've gone through a couple this month. So that was good to get rid of those. And then we have an Antipodes Kiwi Seed Oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is an eye cream. And this felt like a water cream. It was amazing. It felt really, really nice on my eyes. I was just sad that it was only a foil packet, not like a little bottle so I could get proper sort of use out of it. Um, so I couldn't really say what lasting effect it had, but it did feel really, really nice on my skin. The Antipodes brand is, um, is really nice. I really do like that. So uh, that's what I've got there. And I think I've got two or three other Antipodes um, products as well, but they are full sizes. So they'll take me a while to get through, but once I've got through them, you'll definitely see them. Then this one was a duo. This was an Argan Oil Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. So one's the shampoo, one's the conditioner. I find it really hard to try these out on my hair because sometimes my hair is really long and really thick and really curly. I sometimes find that this product isn't always enough to do all of my hair. So I end up mixing it with whatever shampoo and conditioner I've got in my shower, which I know I shouldn't do. But I need to wash my hair, right? And um, yeah, sometimes these just aren't enough. So it would be quite a while for me to be able to like stash all these and wait until I had two of the same sort to use. So I just mix it with what I've got. But I did notice um, my hair a little bit different sort of the next day with this one. And it did smell really nice. So I'm thinking that I would probably like these. So if I got these in a bigger sample size, definitely give them a go. Um, and argan oil is meant to be really good for your hair. So if I was looking for a shampoos and conditioners, this would be something that I could possibly look at. Don't think they were over expenses. I liked them maybe $30, but even, you know, that's not bad for a shampoo or conditioner that lasts quite a while. 
So that's what I've got there, and that's the end of my box. So like I said, oh, look, even that oil was <laughs> Mark the bottom of the box. So that's all I've got for you. Like I said, it's my empties for October 2023. I've gone through quite a few products this month. There's some bigger ones in there as well. But I know it seemed to be there for a while. I had only big products and I didn't really have a lot at the end of the month. I am getting to the end of some of those now. So hopefully you'll see those shortly. I do hope that you're enjoying these videos. Have you tried any of these products? Did you have any that you love hated? Because um, I do like to really... Um, hear what other people have to say about the products that they use as well because I know our skin's all different but that's my experience from the products I've tried this month so until next time I better go and see what he's barking at so until next time I hope you're having a great day take care and I will see you in the next one bye